Tanya, it seems like a party follows us wherever we go. Again. Again. As, as our viewers may recall, a couple of weeks ago we were in Lleida, Spain for the Snail Festival and now we have arrived in Burgos in central Spain and we just happened to arrive right in the middle of a, a giant festival that goes on for a week. It's a religious festival but it's a, it's a Friday, everybody's taking the day off and I, so far I don't see any religion but uh, I certainly see thousands of people and you can see the smoke rising from the barbecues well into the distance and so we're going to go in there see what we can find and uh, snag ourselves some uh, chimichurri sauce or whatever it seems like all you have to do in any spanish town is just ask donde esta la fiesta and they'll tell you exactly where it is it's amazing i love this country these people are just having themselves a time. They're loving it. Look at this young woman here. She's very excited. All right, go. Go for it, girl. I gotta see if I can find some ribs. Well, these guys are cooking up a storm here, as you can see. They've got these, uh, sort of these blood sausages that are really, really popular. And then they're cooking some other kinds of meat here. We gotta score something. So well, we finally scored some food and what we're having here, Tony, is moro. Moro, moro. I, it looks like, a, looks like a pig's ear in a pig's ear anyway and, and uh, large cervezas so uh, that's what's going on here everybody's having a wonderful time mm. Wait, little beer little beer yeah Take two hands. yeah how do you think that tastes on you oh don't answer now okay delicious. well it's delicious and there are literally literally thousands if not tens of thousands of people here. Well, Tanya and I have had our uh, barbecued pig's ear, I think that's what it was, and a couple of beers and uh, we're going to be leaving the scene here but it just, I, I just have to show you, I mean this is like a, well it's almost like a rock festival except there's no music but there are just lots of people uh, there, there are no trash receptacles. I know I sound like such an old fuddy-duddy, but uh, uh, everyone just seems to kind of throw their trash wherever it is, and a whole bunch of guys over here just pissing against the wall. That seems to be the, the main urinal over there. Uh, no place to sit. No place to sit. No, it's just a big meadow or a park. I guess these are the grounds of some monastery. I don't want, know what the monks, monks think of this, or maybe they're not even around anymore. Uh, they'd probably join right in. Who knows? All right, so that's uh, Tanya and Jay signing off from uh, Burgos, Burgos yeah. and the religious festival. Uh, what we don't know the name of, but it doesn't really matter. I just told Tanya that I think I talk too much, but she says, no, Jay, you, you give some fun information once in a while. So I anyway, didn't she didn't say that. But we're uh, in Burgos in Spain and the probably the highlight of Burgos and the reason that you should come here, regardless of uh, your age, is the Cathedral of Burgos. And I knew it was here, but I just had no idea, uh, you know, how grand it really was. It's built in the, um, in the 1200s, 1300s, like a lot of the great cathedrals of Europe. About the same time uh, construction was started on Notre Dame in Paris. And if this looks a little bit like Notre Dame, it's because it was a French architect uh, who designed this uh, cathedral in the first place. It is just, it's just massive. I'm gonna kinda keep my trap shut now and just let you take it all in.
Okay, I couldn't help myself. Tanya has pointed out to me that, uh, of course, we're on the Camino de Santiago, and here is a pilgrim who looks like he's been through the mill. He's wearing his seashell, he has his walking stick, but his knees are all bunged up. He's got, he just looks like he's, uh, he's had a hard time, but he's resting now in front of the cathedral. getting ready to leave Burgos now and I wanted to give you a little bit of a recap here and some advice as to whether you should visit Burgos. First of all, Burgos is not what you would call on the normal tourist trail. However, it is one of the major sites and stops along the Santiago, de, uh, the Camino de Santiago. That's the, the pilgrimage to Santiago uh, uh, de Compostela. So there are lots and lots of pilgrims that are continually coming through through town. So that on its own would be a good reason to come here, plus the big cathedral that's here. Um, the other reason that you would want to visit Burgos is that it is, from what I can see in the three days we were here, uh, a very authentic Spanish city. We saw zero uh, American tourists heard zero English from visitors. 
So there were no North Americans that we could tell. Now, there must have been some here, but we, we not that we saw. Um, people here are, the people in Burgos are friendly, but not overly so. Uh, the, the main outsiders that come through here are the pilgrims. And a lot of those people, they're, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of keeping to themselves. They're on the spiritual quest for the most part. And so they're, they're friendly, but not in a, uh, overtly friendly way. They're not going to go out of their way, uh, but but they uh, uh, but they are very very nice people, and it's a and it's a fun place to be. If it's not for the Camino <clears throat> or to visit the massive cathedral that's here, should you stop in Burgos as part of a larger vacation? <laughs> I'd say it's a 50-50 toss-up -50, uh, on that. Uh, there are lots of cities in Spain with lots of cathedrals uh, and lots of places where you can get an authentic Spanish experience. But if you have the time, it, it's a good place to be. Fortunately, we had the time, so, you know, we did that. But anyway, that's uh, it here from Burgos in Spain. See you later. Thanks for watching.